The medical radiation technology field is revolutionizing the healthcare industry with constant upgrades in technology, as well as highly educated MRTs leading the way. The MRT career path offers a wide variety of areas to work, as well as many types of x-rays to perform and people to meet. You can start off in a hospital like this. This is an acute care hospital, so we're dealing with inpatients and traumas and people all over the region. And then you can also work in the clinic, which is mainly ambulatory patients. So they're walking in off the street, they've seen their doctor, and they come in for just basically simple x rays. Well, if you're a general tech who's just, we call it working on the floor, so you're not in a specialty room, you're just doing uh, outpatients and inpatients and emerge patients, your general day is well, there's three shifts we have a day shift, an evening shift, and a midnight shift. And you're basically x-raying patients as they come. So if you have somebody who went to their doctor's office, got a requisition for, like, say they had a cough. The doctor says, okay, I want you to get a chest x-ray. He writes out a requisition. They come to our department, they get checked in, and then we see them on our, we have a computerized tracker. So then we see them, we go and pick them up and take their x-ray. So that's an outpatient. Then within the hospital, there's, we have uh, patients that are admitted, and they have doctors that see them on a regular basis. So occasionally the doctors say, okay, well, I want, he had hip surgery, I want this person back down to x-ray to see how that hip's doing. Yes. Good day, sir. How are you doing? Not too bad, how are you? Uh, very good. Uh, We're taking pictures inside the body to see, like, it, well, our chest x-ray is the most prevalent x-ray that we do, and so you're taking a look at the lungs to see if there's uh, tumors or there's congestive patches or, you know, enlarged heart, whatever, so it's all part of the diagnosis. The patient doesn't know what's wrong, they're coming to the hospital for diagnosis and the, usually the, one of the first things they get is an x-ray. We're dealing with all types, so you have little kids to, to elderly people who may have dementia or Alzheimer's, so they're difficult to deal with. You have language barriers, so Thunder Bay you've got, you know, the Finnish population, Italian. So there's a lot of uh, charades going on, like taking a big breath and you have to act it out and then they catch on. So. And then we're also dealing with, you know, late at night you'll have uh, people who have been drinking and assaulted. So you have all kinds of, uh, you know, mental capacities too. And so you have to learn how to get along with, a, with all types of people and how to have them stay still and get into the correct position in order for you to get a good quality x-ray. So the doctor has the, the best information possible to make the most accurate diagnosis, right? So it's a lot of communication, really. Uh, started, like, the date of birth, uh, January 31st, 1985. Okay, thank you. Every patient is different, and every injury is different. So what may be our standard positioning for like the average patient may not work for somebody who has two broken legs, say. So you have to get a little creative and figure out how to get the same positioning, because uh, x-rays are two-dimensional, two whereas the body is three-dimensional. So you have to do more than one shot in order to give the doctor that three-dimensional feel. Well, I got into this field because I had previously taken uh, university courses where I really enjoyed the anatomy and physiology, like how the body works and parts of the body and that kind of thing. So I thought this would be a good fit for me. And plus, uh, I knew it was going to be You're different totally. every day. You have different, different patients, different injuries, different you know diseases coming through that you could, you know, take a look at and. You know, it just it just makes it that much more interesting when you have a, a, a constant changing day, right? Instead of the same thing every day. My old job was the same thing every day. It was pretty boring. So now it's it's really interesting, and you can move. You're all over the hospital. You're in the operating room. You're in the trauma room where things are really exciting, and uh, so we even actually go to the morgue for certain uh, forensic cases that they need. They have to you know have unanswered questions. So. I don't know, it's really interesting and I think, I think if you like uh, kind of a fast paced environment, um, a lot of problem solving, you know, keep you on your toes and uh, you like to work in a team because a lot of times the, the more experienced x-ray techs will give the younger ones a hand, especially if you have injuries that you're not familiar with or, you, or you're trying to deal with a, like a, a young child with autism or something and you never had to experience that before so they have tricks so it's a, it's a good teamwork environment. It's interesting, it's fast paced, and it's always different. So that's what I like about it. So, you know, you, 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 meet, you meet a lot of people who are fun and friendly, so that's nice.